Hey, how's it going guys? Jackson here with Toasty DIY, and today we're taking a look at this Fleur C5, a part of the CX series, which is the compact series. And as you can see, this little guy right here is about the size of a standard cell phone. I actually have Google 6 Pro right here to kind of compare it to. And as you can see, my Google 6 is comparably bigger. And as far as thickness goes, obviously the camera's a little bit of a bulge to it, but definitely not too bad. It comes with a really nice little wrist holder here too. It comes with a really nice little soft carrying uh, pouch that can attach like a backpack or a belt, uh, which would be really nice if you're out on the field. And then we have this nice Fleur branded cable and it is just a USB-C to standard USB two cable. And then inside the actual box here, we're gonna have some instructions and some packaging and whatnot, but it doesn't come with like an SD card or anything because this one cannot actually take an SD card. But this comes in around $650 currently, which I think is a great price for what you're actually getting. So we'll go ahead and just get this turned on. And we have our nice little Fleur loading screen. It takes about, I'd say five to 15 seconds to turn on depending on how long since the last time you turned it on. But as you can see, it is auto calibrating, which is really nice. So whenever you point it at a surface, you know, like that, let's say that it's extremely hot compared to extremely cold surface, it'll auto calibrate for that surface. You can turn that off if you would like and put it to manual mode as well. But as you can see, if I put my hand onto the target, which is this white part right here, that's going to actually tell us what the current temperature of the focal point is. And this has all kinds of cool features built into the camera, which we'll kind of go over in a minute. But this is just basically showing off, you know, the actual build quality and everything. And it's definitely very strong plastic. I mean, if I drop this thing, I think it could take quite a few falls. And it does actually have a flash built in and everything. But yeah, there's quite a few settings um, actually on this camera. And, um, you know, overall battery life's really good. I've actually only charged this thing one time since we got it. We were actually using it for computer builds to be able to see like hot spots and cold spots and everything, you know, where heat's building up and you know how hot like processors and stuff actually get. We're actually just using that cable to charge so you can see it's still pretty hot. But look how quickly that focus works. So you can see it, it almost instantly calibrates, you know, because my hand is much hotter, you know, probably about, uh, let's see, 30, about 30 degrees Celsius. And then obviously we have much cooler objects here, so it has to auto calibrate. And then it looks like the end of that cable, just a little bit hotter, about 20, 22C. And then the actual mat that we're using is about 20C to give you guys an idea on the difference here, but it's actually really accurate. It can see on um, really small differences. So let's go ahead and dive into the settings. We'll get this thing hooked up to the PC and we'll see how everything looks. All right, so we have now loaded into the actual floor. We just are hooked up with USB-C. And so here's the measurements and parameters where you can change uh, certain fixed variables. And then going over to connections, we can hook up to Wi-Fi, hook up to our cell phone or tablet. We can actually change the camera temperature range for you know Celsius and Fahrenheit. This is where we can make sure we want to save file types as you know certain uh, type or format and we can also delete files and everything from there we can set up accounts through accounts to actually go on the Fleur Ignite app in case you want to have some easy pairing and then here's just like basic device settings so brightness you know updates all that stuff as we can see we have an update which is nice that it can auto push those for you and you don't have to go into a PC to actually do that and so now we're actually just hooked straight up to the computer. This is on a 1440p monitor that it was recorded just using the Windows built-in camera app. And uh, this is definitely a cool feature because in theory, you could hook this up to a tablet, a cell phone, you could hook it up to a laptop or just a computer like this. Um, so whether you're on the go or at a fixed station, you can throw this thing on a tripod and uh, record straight from the computer so you're not having to worry about you know managing apps or being hooked up to the Wi-Fi or anything like that. We're just going through and playing with some of the settings. So you can see here we can have the target temperature where anything that's inside the center box will have a target temperature and then the red arrow is going to show us the uh, hottest temperature within the box and then the blue arrow is going to show us the uh, minimal temperature that's inside the box. And as you can see in the upper corner, once we turn those uh, parameters on, it'll also show us the hottest and coldest temperature on the screen. And then off to the left is actually showing where it says 33 and 18, the hottest and coldest calibrated temperature. And then this is really cool. You can actually change what type of colors the camera actually sees. I really like the rainbow because it, to me, it has the most contrast to it. And then 
Another thing that's really cool is we can actually change the auto calibration. So we can go to auto or manual in case, you know, you're doing a really fixed uh, scenario and you want to make sure that the auto is not messing up anything or it's constantly changing on you, which does happen from time to time. It just doesn't want to pick a specific temperature range. And here's just me kind of just testing around. So as you can see, the really red light is actually the monitor. It's at the very bottom where most of the heat's coming out. And then here's me putting my hand um, in the range. So you can see we're getting around 31 uh, see just basically outside body temp and then obviously all the blue in the backgrounds where it's a lot colder And like I said, you can change those colors to really whatever you want You can see my watch is putting off a good amount of heat there But yeah, this thing's really good for you know finding um hot spots and cold spots, you know for uh, All kinds of different businesses really. I mean it's great for um, firefighters It's great for home inspectors contractors you name it and uh, I'm sure that they have one of these So we appreciate you guys watching today's video if you haven't already check out our other YouTube channels the main toasty bros and toasty clips and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.